Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another tag, yay! And this tag is called most used, least used and cutest bag in my collection. And it was created by the lovely Coffee with Nadia, who also tagged me into this. And I was also tagged by three other lovely ladies and they are Meet Penelope, Patty Perez and the wonderful be fabulous with me, Irene. So thank you so much, ladies. And I will, of course, link their channels in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got two bags in the most used category. And the first one is my Louis Vuitton Batignolles in the horizontal style, because it does come in the vertical style as well. But this one is the horizontal. And I've had this bag for about six years or so and I did buy it pre-loved because it's um, it's a vintage piece it's discontinued but I absolutely love it and I have used it almost on a daily basis for a long period and um, I just like the look of it because it's got the functionality of a never full as you can see the capacity is it's huge so it works really well now with my bag organizer but it also has a very large zip pocket and another little smaller pocket for keys and things but I also like the two buckles on the side which gives it that sort of cinched in look and um, I actually get quite a lot of compliments on it when I when I take it out because you know I just like the fact that it's different and um you know i would say this is my alternative to the neverfull i know you know the neverfull is iconic and and it's a classic piece and of course everybody knows it but for me i've never really been inclined to go for the neverfull partly because i think it's the most copied bag on the black market and literally everybody has one um, and that's okay you know if you love the Neverfull then it doesn't you know that doesn't matter but for me I just prefer something that has this sort of like the same function and the look but something that looks a little bit more rare and so when I came across this I just yeah I just went for it and I bought it and I really like the um, patina on the Vachetta straps which is now you know got turned into sort of a very nice caramel color which I, I really like and it's quite even um, yeah so it's just a really nice bag that fits so much it's so functional and it's got you know the same capacity as a Neverfull but yet it looks different so I love my Batignol and okay the second bag in the most used category is nothing special um, at all it's just uh, my little Gucci messenger bag and this is in coated canvas okay and uh, it's a little crossbody messenger bag and I tell you I use this every single morning during the school runs because all I need is just to be able to put my phone in. Um, I put two phones in, one which I'm using to film right now, but I normally put both my phones in and a card holder and that's it, I'm out the door. As you know, you know, for anyone who still has to go through the horror of school runs, um, it gets very stressful and chaotic in the mornings and I'm forever sort of screaming, no up, get your shoes on now. Can you just get in the car, get in the car now? Uh, you know what it's like, right? So I just need something that I can literally throw over my shoulders and I'm out the door. Nothing fancy, no fuss, and this is so perfect and it's all weather because it's coated canvas so i don't have to worry about the rain and especially you know in when i'm sort of holding noah's hand and he's probably you know carrying his school bag and i might have to carry his pe kit and if it's raining i have to carry an umbrella as well so 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so this just works so well. So in fact, I use this every single morning during the school runs. Um, and even, you know, if I'm going grocery shopping and I want to be hands-free, then this is so perfect. So yeah, so these two are my most used bags. Okay, so now for my least used bag, I do actually have quite a number of bags that I don't use often. I think mainly they are my clutch ones or the really small ones that I can sort of barely fit anything in. Um, but I think this one is probably definitely the least used and that is my Dolce and Gabbana clutch. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. It does come with a chain, okay, but uh, I don't, I mean, when I used it the one time, um, I used it as a clutch because I bought it to go with this emerald green uh, dress, which was for this uh, Christmas gala that we had at work. And, uh, and I just fell in love with this detail. If you look at that, it's got these sort of turquoise stones and little crystal stones as well and i just love the contrast between the leather and the tweed fabric um, and it's got these sort of shiny threads going through so it's really a very stunning bag now the reason why i really um don't use it very often is because I'm kind of scared to. Now, the one time I used it, as I said, the very first time was when I bought it for the Christmas gala that I went to, and I'll try and insert a picture of me all dressed up. And um, by the end of the evening, I noticed that the stone here had gone missing. And I was absolutely devastated. I was so upset. And for more than a month, it was, it just kept playing on my mind. I just kept thinking, darn, you know, because this bag was not cheap. Um, and to have a, a stone missing and thinking that, well, you know, it's gonna be very difficult to get it replaced or repaired because, you know, these are sort of um, cut to size. And for a long time, I was so upset about it. And then one day, I just all of a sudden had this light bulb moment and I went and I checked the dust bag, its dust bag, and lo and behold, this little stone here had fallen out and it had literally just got trapped into the very corner of the dust bag. Oh my goodness, you can imagine <laughs> the joy when I found it. And so I popped it back in and I just got a, a little tweezer and I just kind of tried to uh, tighten up the, the clasp and since then I think I've only used it one other time since then um, but I guess it's just it's such a beautiful bag it does deserve to be used but I know that um, next time I do use it if I do use it again uh, I will need to be very very wary of these stones uh, so yeah <laughs> But it's definitely a work of art and I really, really love this bag very much. And I have a pair of Kate Spade earrings that are that match it perfectly, but that's my least used bag. And now for the cutest bag. That was a hard one because I think I have quite a few really cute bags and it was definitely a toss up between the Elmer BB and this one but eventually i settled for this and that's my little fendi double baguette and it's really cute because it's two little bags in one as you can see and it opens you've got the front flap and the back flap so i can choose to wear wear it on this side or if i want to be a little bit more discreet then i can wear with this side showing and um yeah and it's a just a nice little crossbody bag but it actually does fit a good amount it's got a beautiful sort of suede interior um, so I have actually done a video of what fits inside and so it's quite you know because the leather is quite soft you can actually fit quite a lot in there but just look at it look how cute that is and I bought this little uh, pom-pom from UGG which comes with a little crystal 
crystal thing not that you can really see um, but yeah this is I think my cutest bag and that's it thank you so much ladies for tagging me and of course to Nadia from Coffee with Nadia for creating this tag. Now, this tag has actually been going for quite a while, so I can't really remember who's already done it or not, but I will add some names and tag some people in the description box. But if I have missed out your name and you want to film this tag, then please do go ahead uh, because it's, it's a fun tag to do. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, give me a like. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.